everyone, this is Andrea Gatti from my study room. Welcome to the Drum Arts channel. If you appreciate our videos, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button. So we do our best to support the drummer community. This is our vision. And uh, also I want to remind you that another way to support us is to visit our drum art shop. I will put the link in the description and you will find many cool t-shirts like this one. This is uh, like with the theme of jazz and you can find other films too. We working on new models every day. And this is a way to support us. Now these are these t-shirts are made of great quality and I encourage you to check them out. Link in the description. So here we are today, guys. We are talking about the six stroke roll. Now the six stroke roll is one of my favorite, also because I I like to see it as the swingy rudiment, and we we will see why. Now we will look at it in many applications, and uh, as always, we're gonna also apply it on the drum set and see. I hope this can inspire your your playing, and then you can find many applications, and maybe you can get back to us and show us your progress. We would love to see that. Here we go. So as first step, I always recommend, if you're following me by now, you know it, that the first step of studying a rudiment or whatever is to understand the mechanics. If we want to look at the mechanics of the six stroke roll, we will have two accents. So we will have one accent. I always encourage to use the Muller technique. So be careful your upstrokes are made nice and clean and smooth an accent followed by a roll starting with the left but when we execute this roll we will do upstrokes why because then we will have two accents Again, one and a two and a three and a four and a one. I would suggest to start this very slowly and pay attention to those upstrokes when you're executing the double. Of course, then we will execute it with the, starting with the left. You can start it both ways. And two, and three, and four, and one. Now we're gonna execute it with a metronome. I always encourage to start at a very slow speed, and uh, in this way you will have the space and the time to understand the movement, check the movements out if everything is clean and precise. So we will start at a speed of 50 BPM. Another thing I always encourage is to have in the metronome the smallest subdivision if possible. In this case, I will put a subdivision of 16 notes. And now, in mind that when you speed up this roll you always want each note to be clean so I always encourage my students to raise the metronome of not more than 5 bpm per time so you start at 50 or, or even less even at 40 sometimes could be useful then you go up 45 50 55 and so on Another way you can look at it is a, as a sextuplet, which is the one that I love the most because that's why I, I call it the swingy ru rudiment because this adds some swing whenever you have, you uh, you're playing anything that has triplets, you know, it could be a, a jazz pattern or, or even just a, 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 a funk with a swing interpretation when you have those sextuplets. So that's a great feel that you can use. Also, we, we will check out how to do it as a cycle. Hang on. If before we had 16 notes and 30 second notes as the roll, in this case, the notes are gonna be all at the same distance 
so it's gonna sound more even. Now we will see how we can also go on and rearrange the accents over this road. For instance, we can place the two accents on the first two notes and the roll on the following ones. If I start with my right hand, in this case, the roll will be executed like this. Another way we can uh, put the accent is starting with one hand and doing one roll, then doing the two accents in the center and then finishing the roll or starting it because it's gonna start on on the, on the last two notes. Let me try it with you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now I wanna show you a very cool application of the uh, example that start, starts with the two accents and we're gonna apply it over 30, 30 second notes. Now if you think as a cycle of six over 30 second notes, the roll will move on the beat like we've seen in, in, uh, in other videos. So this cycle will finish in three fours. So we, we're gonna start on the down beat of one start the next cycle on the a uh, of the one then we're gonna go on the end of the two and the last one is gonna start on the e of the three so i encourage you to have a subdivision of 16 notes on your metronome to help you stay nice and precise if you want if you want to apply this rudiment in this cycle of a four four on the last one we can do an a stroke roll which is going to be right left double 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 like this and uh, and this will lead us to start uh, the cycle with the other hand, which I love because in this way we can really work on both hands in just one exercise. So here we are on the drum set. First of all, we're gonna look at the, um, the application, the one in, in the, on a sex duplet. We're gonna see how to apply it on the kit and how to also add a, um, a substitution, uh, substitution, a roll with two doubles with the kick, like Steve Gadd, basically. <laughs> like I, I'm very inspired by him. Go and check him out if you don't know him. <laughs> Now we're gonna look instead of how to apply it as a cycle. It means we're gonna have a straight groove 
I'm gonna have that cycle over the 30 second note. So guys, it's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with us. I'm sure you're gonna find many ways to apply the six row roll on the pad, do step by step, then apply it on the kit. And we look forward to hearing your problems. So if you have any questions or you'd like to know anything, feel free please to, to write a comment or you can reach out to me on my website is www.drumartstn.com. And uh, also remember to visit our shop where you can find many cool products. You can follow us on our social media. I will put the links in the, on the screen. And I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for staying with us. God bless you.